I used to vlog at a whole different YouTube channel, but I stopped when YouTube took away my monetization. <laughs> But I'm so glad, Josh, that I did those vlogs mm. because they're like home movies. You know, like when I used to have the cameras to record you guys growing up and stuff. Yeah. So they're kind of like that because I can go back into those vlogs and see when certain things were happening, especially with my mom that's gone on six years. So I went back in my vlogs to find three videos of when we visited Joe's mom before she moved away to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. So I think it's back in 2017. So take a look at the first one. We're arriving at her apartment right now. So we came to see Joe's mom. Ooh, Miss Ketchup. Uh, it's not fresh. It's not fresh. It's How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Not dead yet. So we got off the elevator and the guy walked right into that lady's apartment right there. And I told you, what if he was the killer? Because he didn't have no way of getting in until we rang the phone. So we're gonna head back home before the traffic gets bad. I couldn't leave completely through the door without Joe getting the camera because I wouldn't be able to get back in. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> So we're going to LA in this right now. So we're here at Joe's mom's man. complex. Oh, Anthony. Well, you know, actually, Anthony. 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 Anthony the alarm at the apartment building where the mom, well, the fire alarm, right? Yeah, it was constantly beeping, wasn't it? Oh, no, not just the beeping, it went off. It was, a, mm. it was a false emergency, but it went off and it was screaming the whole time through the video. But it's just a little, like a minute or so, I want you guys to just see this last segment. Right. I say right up on our dress. <laughs> I'm glad that I have these videos because when she moved away, Joe and I never got the opportunity to go to Oklahoma City to see her. So that was the last that we saw of her. But we talked with her yeah. frequently. Recently. Yeah. yeah. So Joshua, I have Joshua in the video with me. He doesn't even know why. Joshua was her first American-born grandbaby. Did you know that? No. I don't know. <laughs> So she has a lot of grandkids, at least people would say 50 Lemteen, 50 Lemteen grandkids and some great grand. But Joshua was the first one born in America. And I'll never forget when Joshua was first born. He was a tiny baby. He was 6'2", 6 pounds 2 ounces. I wish I was 6'2". 
<laughs> Not the height, the weight. Six pounds, two ounces. Six pounds, two ounces. And he was like 18 inches long. They didn't, didn't say tall back for babies. They say long. And so I brought him home. Everybody was so happy because, you know, you know these people say coolie, right? Mm. Hey, little coolie baby, come home. She was so happy because that's her, you know, heritage. And they rushed over to see him. And I put him, she laid him in the crib like the short way in the crib not the long way and she says i give him two weeks like this the short way and you're gonna have to switch him the next way because that's how tall he's gonna get how long right oh my god i think it happened in one week you just gotta shut up i'm like what the hell i can't lay the baby like that anymore so i, I never forgot that and something else that i never forgot that she told me after i had my second child which is jory another boy she says wait by the time you blink or snap your fingers like that, they're gonna be grown as my her boys, which is Joe and all the other boys she had. And you're just gonna be enjoying how much they will love on you because your boys will always love on you. And so I just I, I hold on to that. Because those things did come they come they came true. You guys got grown like rather quickly mm -hmm. and I feel like all my children love on me and love me but i feel like the boys they dote on me more <laughs> no jory dotes on daddy right jory oh let me take that back jory dotes on daddy <laughs> but anyway oh my god look at that wind crazy out mm, there mm, i'm so angry Ooh. anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the little three minute segment that we did with joe's mom and i just wanted josh to go josh how do you feel right now about the last baby it just happened yesterday you guys are going to see this video like two days later how are you coping with the loss of grandma Oh, yeah, I'm not shooken up or anything, cause you know she's. She was older and she, sick. Yeah, you know, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't sudden or like you know what I mean. And she wasn't here. Yeah. Uh, like so the, the other grandma was here, yeah. present all so the time. So we were like in the thick of it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but now you have no grandmothers. I know. Mm. I know. That's crazy. Mm hmm Wow. Guys, if you like this video, check out one of my other videos. This is the best.